Hey everyone, it's Saturday wrap up and uh, there's a few things on the wrap up this week. I'm down here at the legislature because it's too windy up there and there's Christmas lights. I thought I'd do a Christmas light show for you guys, but this is the best I can do. The Christmas lights are still up by the way. I'm back in the studio. It was way too windy for me to record my voice. This is why the video has been delayed. Obvious story this week was the wind recorded somewhere in Edmonton at 120 kilometers an hour. People saw some of the pictures flying around social media of the 109 and Jasper redevelopment being blown over with a scaffolding. Now I managed to walk by there on Friday. All the scaffolding was gone. There was just an empty lot. It makes me wonder what they were actually doing this whole time because as you see here there's nothing actually developed. There's no hole in the ground, nothing's really done. Another thing that I noticed with the warm wind was right here at ATB Place. A couple days before the wind, they had hired some people to shovel their snow. A day later, the snow was still there. Now the wind actually did a better job if you look here. And speaking of ATB Place, it is now the official name in replacement of TELUS Plaza. It's official when there's signs up at the LRT station saying it's ATB Place, and there's an ATB Place sign right in front by the Jasper entrance. ATB has been putting up their skyline sign and along with that it looks like there's going to be LED lights around the building that will change colors which is pretty cool to make it stand out against the taller TELUS house. Some guy named JT was in town and I calculated that if everybody in the stadium were Edmontonians 3% of Edmontonians would have been at the two shows. I'm able to notice some things that were a little bit different the day after his second concert. I did read on some social media reports that he was working out at the Hotel Mac, unconfirmed of course, but the lights were on in the suite with the balcony. Who else would be there except JT? But I have to say that there was an SUV with a sunroof picked up passengers twice, and that morning was the same morning that the Stanley Cup was in town, so who knows? It might have been JT, it might have been a former hockey player. Current events, the biggest thing this week in Edmonton was this pipe bomb incident at the airport which happened I think back in November or something like that, I don't know the details. Based on media reports, it was a kid who had been playing with a pipe bomb, he forgot it in his bag, the airport security took it away and they didn't know what it was so they gave it back to him. The kid's like, no, I don't want it. I can understand based on the situation he was able to get on board because he was just a kid. What I don't understand is that if you take something away, the kid refuses to take it back, why do you not confiscate it at that time? That's the strange part. And lastly, even though it's two weeks ahead of Chinese New Year, there was an extravagant at West Edmonton Mall. I was able to partake in some of the events this year and I am absolutely amazed by this amazing drumming group and I'm gonna close off with that drumming group right here.